I'm here to discuss about the photocopier. The photocopier was invented by Chester Carlson on October 1937. It, it is a device that can Xerox and make photocopies of an original image, just like your normal paper that you use in your school. Parts of the photocopier, the halogen lamp, the photosensitive drum, the toner, and the conveyor belt, which are the main parts of the photocopier. The halogen lamps used in the photocopier is to project light and is the main light source to the whole machine. It's a metal drum that contains selenium and silicon and rotates after the bulb has transferred the light reflected from the paper and the photosensitive drum will, re will rotate to the toner. Transfers a new paper to be toned off by the toner and being pressed by two rolling objects and then create heat that can permanently attach your the toner to your paper and then you have your new photocopied paper. Hi, my name is Leo and welcome to the magazine show. Now I will discuss to you a very simple diagram of how a photocopier works. Right here, you see a photocopier, and inside that is a drum, which is made of selenium. And you can charge it with some form of static electricity. On top of that, there are three gears, and beside the three gears is a black powder called the toner. Now, the toner can be attracted to the drum when the drum is charged. Now, for instance, a beam of light is emitted from a certain light source. That beam of light will travel, and when it hits the white parts of the paper, it will then be reflected back to the drum. Now, the drum being a photoconductive material, when the photon of light hits, it emits an electron. It will neutralize the positive charge of the drum. Now, a positively charged sheet of paper will attract the toner away from the drum. And then, that paper will then be heated and pressed to fuse the image form. This process is called serography. Always remember guys, Opposite charges attract.